All right, guys. Sorry for the darkness. I had to get out of my house. Just a nightmare today. So, entry for on Cape Crusaders. Promised them I'd do it last night. Life happens. Couldn't do it. Doing it tonight. There's three questions he wants to know. Number one, what is your grail item? The fat kid's got two. Michael Myers sheet NECA, where he's got the sheet on and he's the ghost. And the Michael Myers and little Michael Myers double pack with a cool ass light up pumpkin. I'd love to have either one of those. If one of you guys have it, want to trade it? I got tons of shit to trade. I know, I'm shit out of luck. Um, he wants to know what male and female survived the horror movie that should have died. My male is, I think his name was Sean in uh, Friday the 13th Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. That motherfucker should not have lived at all. You know, everybody should have died in that movie because it was trash. Yeah, it's still a Jason movie and I love it, but probably the worst one. I actually like Jason Goes to Hell better and Jason X better. That's saying something. Jason X is actually pretty fucking epic. And then for my female, I forget her name, but it was uh, A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 5 of Dream Child. The check that dives into the pool. I forget her name. She's in a ton of shit. Back to school, people under the stairs. Awful character, awful actress. Wanted her to die 25 times and she lived. What characters died in horror movies, male and female, that should have lived? I hate even bringing up Halloween too because it's so painful. I mean, the remake. But, uh, Annie. Annie should have lived. She should have made it all the way. That was sad. Because I love Danielle Harris. Dirty pervert like that. And what dude died that should have lived? That's probably the toughest one out of them all. Because dude shouldn't survive horror movies. Honestly. They should all die. I'm going to go with, even though they didn't really show it. Nah, I want him to die too. Hmm. This is tough. Be right back. All right. Thought of two. Randy in the Scream series. He probably should have lived. And Cabin in the Woods, that geek, even though they didn't really show it on screen, they, they heavily implied the survivors died. And he made the movie. I was I was like, I popped hardcore when he uh, when he was still alive in that movie. That was, that was kind of fun. So I'm going to go to two nerds. All right, guys. Go down below and look for the link. Uncaved Crusaders, my friend Craig. If you haven't, if you haven't checked him out yet, go check him out. He's got a lot of cool shit. He goes to a lot of cool conventions and all. He has a great uh, haul from Monster Mania about a month ago. Check that video out. If you like what you see, click like, click subscribe. Tell them the fat kid sent you. And, but most importantly, if you want to learn anything about this video, give me my Michael Myers neckers. Either one. Trade me. Yeah. Once again, sorry for the darkest but I had to get the fuck out of my house. I mean, it was just... Ugh. One of those days. I don't beat women, so I couldn't stay in there. I probably should, but then a little five foot three ass would whoop my ass. Be really embarrassing. Go to the hospital with my wife's foot stuck on my ass. Yeah, no good. All right, guys, on Cape Crusaders, go down below, check them out. Let me know what you think. Sorry for the bad videos. Bye bye.